Hi, my name is Alex Quash. I'm with Intel. Uh, we're here at Mobile Congress with uh, customers and partners. Uh, and today we're lucky uh, to have with us Henrik Jarlak, who is head of um, Packet Core at Ericsson. Welcome, Henrik. Thank you, Alex. So I want to talk to you about uh, the transition to the 5G core, and particularly to the 5G standalone core. There, we're hearing lots of challenges in the industry from a service provider perspective. What are some of the challenges that, that Ericsson is seeing? So we have two types of customer groups. One's a group that uh, see a lot of traffic increase in the network with fixed wireless access and production, having like 30 times more traffic compared to mobile broadband. They're looking to bring you new server types and getting that with uh, performance up. Then you have a second deal for customers who want to improve the performance on the install base. For example, that they are by regulation have to show basically the energy consumption of the carbon footprint yes. user. So two different challenges. So we need to improve both on new technology and also the existing generation. Yes, I think on, on our side, I think we see very similar um, challenges as you. Um, overall, just the infrastructure efficiency can improve, right? So that's kind of your, to your first point. And then um, on the second piece, um, the, the power savings, my gosh, it seems like really that's been, that's become, you know, from transition from performance to a power and, and power efficiency has been top. Yeah, being clear, yeah. We are working on bringing out new capabilities and uh, getting better performance, uh, the improvement also our efficiency, as you say. And the case in the Ericsson Labs right now, through our joint collaboration, yes. we, we see improvements are three times in performance and uh, 50% in energy consumption in the latest uh, Intel uh, generation uh, sale uh, with the uh, zero force that we're testing right now. Yes. More to come. And and we're, we're, we're super excited. I mean, Ericsson's deployed all over the world and, and to work with Ericsson on just not just existing infrastructure, and maybe we'll talk a little bit more about that, but on new generation platforms that really represent power efficiency breakthroughs is very exciting. Yeah, um, yeah we've seen very similar numbers and improvement in terms of uh, 3x, the, uh, the performance, and then also power savings. Can you maybe say a little bit more about your power savings? Yeah, so uh, the power savings we do both in the new generation, but we also do it on the existing, uh, on the existing uh, generations of mm. Intel, where we have the Ericsson Adaptive PC Looping, which uh, with our joint work right. also reduced uh, energy consumption quite a lot for existing generation, which is really cool. And that's really important to service providers. Right, to not just look at future investments to improve the overall power efficiency, but just do it on existing, um, existing platforms. Um, what about performance improvement? So, uh, performance as well is something uh, you know, you this uh, an area where we get also constant expectations or also improving year on every year. And through our joint work, we also see that we can improve that further during 2024 and 2025, all the existing systems that we have. Yeah, also really critical for service providers. Henrik, thank you so much for, uh, for the quick chat. Thank you very much, Alex. Yeah. <laughs>